Hello and welcome to another lecture on probability. Today we shall be starting and discussing with random variables and its probability distribution. Later we are going to find the value of mean and variance of a random variable and finally we are going to deal with some numerical problems that would be based on random variables and its probability distribution and finding of their means and variance. Now beginning the lecture with random variable, we suppose an example in which we perform an experiment of tossing a coin twice. Then the sample space is given as S equal to both heads or both tails or first head and second tail or as first tail and second head. Now let X represent the number of heads that come up with each sample points two heads, first head, second tail or first tail, second head or both tails, we can associate a number for x as shown in the table. Thus, x takes the values 2, 1, 0 corresponding to two heads, one head or no head. We can call x a random variable and it cannot be predicted which value of x will occur in the next trial. Thus, x depends on chance and we can define a random variable as a numerical quantity whose value is determined by the outcome of the random experiment. Next, we are going to discuss the probability distribution of a random variable. For this, we suppose a uniform die is thrown and let x denote the number of points on the uppermost face. Then x can take the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 each with the probability of 1 by 6. Now we may show this by the following table. Here px denotes the probability of x, the variable x which can take certain values depending on the chance is a random variable. And this table represents the probability distribution of the random variable x. Now here p is called the probability density for the random variable x and x can take only the values in the table and no other values and the sum of the probabilities of these values is unity. In general if a random variable x takes the values x1, x2 up to xn with probabilities px1, px2 up to px_n respectively where px1 plus px2 plus px_n is equal to 1 the function p is called the probability density function of x and is said to define the probability distribution of x we can represent this in the tabular form as shown now here x represent the random variable and px represent the probability of that random variable Next we are going to find the value of mean and variance of a random variable. Mean of a random variable which is also denoted by x bar or mu is equal to summation of i from 1 to n pi into xi where xi represent the random variable and pi represent the probability of that random variable. The variance of a random variable is given as summation of i equal to 1 to n and the product of pi into xi minus mean whole square which is equal to summation of pi into xi square minus mu square and i extends from 1 to n. Next we are going to deal with a numerical problem that is based on the probability distribution of a random variable. We have the problem that states that an urn contains 4 white and 6 red balls. 4 balls are drawn at random from the urn. We have to find the probability distribution of the number of white balls. We suppose let x equal to the number of white balls drawn from the urn. Since there are 4 white balls, therefore x can take values from 0 to 4 that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now px equal to 0 is equal to the probability of getting no white ball or we can say it is equal to the probability of 
getting four red balls which is equal to equal to 6 c4 divided by 10 c4 which is equal to 1 by 14 for px equal to 1 we have the probability as 6 c3 into 4 c1 divided by 10 c4 equal to 8 by 21 now this probability is the probability of getting one white ball or we can say probability of getting three red balls. For x equal to 2 that is probability of getting two white balls and two red balls we have the probability as 4c2 into 6c2 divided by 10c4 which is equal to 6 by 14. Next we are going to consider for x equal to 3 that is the probability of getting 3 white balls which is equal to 4c3 into 6c1 divided by 10c4 which gives us a value of 4 by 35. Next we are going to find the probability of getting 4 white balls which is equal to 4c4 divided by 10c4 which gives us a value of 1 by 210. Now we are going to draw the tab table for this probability distribution and is given as for x equal to 0 we have px value equal to 1 by 14 and for x equal to 1 we have px equal to 8 by 21 and for px equal to 2 we have px equal to 14 and for x equal to 3 we have px equal to 4 by 35 and for x equal to 4 we have px equal to 1 by 210. Now this table represents the probability distribution of x that we have found in this problem. Next we have another problem in which a die is tossed twice getting a number greater than 4 is considered a success. We have to find the mean and variance of the probability distribution of number of successes. First of all let us suppose x to be the number of successes. As we can have no success, one success or two success Therefore, x can get the values of 0, 1 or 2. Now here only 5 and 6 being greater than 4 are favorable to success. Therefore, p that is the probability of success is given as 2 by 6 and q which is equal to number of failures or the complement of number of success is given as 4 by 6. Next we are going to find probability of x equal to 0 that is probability of getting no success which is equal to 4 by 6 into 4 by 6 which gives us a value of 4 by 9. Next we are going to find p x equal to 1 that is probability of getting one success which is equal to 4 by 6 into 2 by 6 plus 2 by 6 into 4 by 6 which gives us a result of 4 by 9 again. Next we are going to find the probability of x equal to 2 that is probability of getting two success which is equal to 2 by 6 into 2 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 9. Next we are going to prepare the table for calculation of mean and variance. Now here we have xi for xi equal to 0 we have found pi equal to 4 by 9 for xi equal to 1 
we have pi equal to 4 by 9 and for xi equal to 2 we have pi equal to 1 by 9. This gives us a total of pi equal to 1 that is sigma of pi is equal to 1. Next we are going to find the product of pi and xi which gives us value of 0 for xi equal to 0. For xi equal to 1 we have pi xi equal to 4 by 9. For xi equal to 2 we have pi xi as 2 by 9. This gives us the summation of pi xi equal to 6 by 9. Next we are going to compute the value of pi xi square which gives us a value of 0 for xi equal to 0, 4 by 9 for xi equal to 1 and 4 by 9 for xi equal to 2. This gives us the value of pi into xi square equal to 8 by 9. Now we know that mean which is denoted by x bar or mu is equal to summation of pi xi which is equal to 6 by 9. This gives us the value of mean as 2 by 3. Next we come to the variance which is given as summation of pi xi square minus mu square which is mean. Now substituting the values we have 8 by 9 minus 2 by 3 square. This gives us a value of 8 by 9 minus 4 by 9 which is equal to 4 by 9. Thus we have found the value of the mean as 2 by 3 and that of the variance as 4 by 9. With this we conclude this lecture which was based on random variables and its probability distribution.